How do you feel about your race car? Um, I like it. This is where I'm going to be racing in tomorrow. We're going to have a three hour drive with my dad over there. He's working on it. We're just getting Riley talking about his fancy car here. My race car is ready, so. What do you think, Riley? It is pretty cool. So I'm missing a piece. Kind of self-explanatory. Yeah. So as you might tell, the cart looks pretty good still, except for this one little hole right here. Um, that's by design. That's for an arrow. It's gonna let you know. What are you gonna do with a few points? It's gonna increase the downforce. Um, we're gonna just straighten this up right here and put some tape over it, and it's gonna still be able to win. <laughs> so this weekend we're going to Shawnee, Oklahoma. It's a big two-day indoor car race. We're going with Archie Apparel. Um, we got the the trailers loaded with carts. So um, you see, and the boys are racing this weekend. So we got Bodie and Riley racing. Jason's racing as usual. But for Bodie and Riley, be their first race ever. So it should be a um, should be a good weekend. I'm going to race Pro Clone, and of course Andrew and David Hillian. They helped me get the cart ready again. It was kind of a little beat up from last weekend's race, but um, together it looks fast, so it makes us to get on the track. So on the road here, um, not a bad little drive, I guess. How far is it? Four hours. Yeah, a little under four hours. Um, so far we're doing pretty good, and boys, what do you think about racing this weekend? Hopefully it's going to be good. Yes. Hopefully the track's uh, not too bumpy. So Jace, are you going for a championship this weekend? Yes sir. I'm going for a track championship. It's pretty cool. Bodie, what do you think? First time ever in a car? Are you nervous? Kind of. I know Riley's nervous. Yes, I am very nervous. I would be too. Because That's like, no, no the problem. speed of it sounds so like... Just, awesome? Yeah. yeah. That's how, yeah, awesome or cool, that would probably be the only words to say about it. But um, yeah, and Michelle's behind us, so um, making nice. pretty good time. I hope we'll get there in time for hot laps and um, <laughs> get to race in here pretty soon. I'm a little stressed right now. I'm after pretty soon, and we can take a look at my cart and see how much work's been done to us. I just want to say what a special time it is to see your kids just get on the track for the very first time. I just was completely in awe. You don't know if they're going to keep racing or what it holds, but the third generation, I know especially the first time I hit the track, and I just feel the same way watching them. I just got to say special thanks to Jason and Mint Archie Apparel. He's the one who really got them out there, put them in the carts. Those are his carts they're driving. And I just want to say thank you so much for putting them out there. And also for Jace the Mint, he's the one that kind of show him the ropes and let him around. And he's 
he's kind of the one taking care of them, and they're really the ones that's made it all happen. But wow, how cool is this? Hi. All right, so we did hot laps, and uh, the boys did their first hot laps. And buddy, what'd you think? Uh, fun. He did really good. You kept the car straight. That was awesome. So that's first time fun. on the track. Yeah. That was yeah. That was. You did good. I was impressed. I was nervous. I won't lie. <laughs> I thought I would probably. So when I was driving uh -huh. on one tur turn, I thought I would. Like, I had my guess, I didn't know how to drive it really, because the steering wheel, I had like a uh -huh. hard to turn, so um, I almost ran into the wall. Oh, that would have been bad, but you did good. But I like... <laughs> you didn't know spin outs, nothing, huh? So, Jay's and Riley are back to work, and Riley did really good too, he said he loved it. So he did good, my cart, right there. I need more gear, I only turned 5,700, so is on for some gear. Maybe a little bit of chassis adjustment on it for the heat race, but um, not gonna change too much, but at least we got hot laps in. That was a little stressful. It's crazy. So the junior flat cart race, the boys did really good. Jason Mint led the whole thing. He was in a new car, so it was a great opportunity to get that cart working. The boys, they were just trying to keep the cart straight, but it was their first race ever, so they all did really good, so pretty proud of them. Jace DeMint is definitely getting faster and faster each time he hits the track. Ah, my boys, they had to make a little contact at some point. A little brotherly love, I think. But they kept going, finished the race, and I don't think they've remembered it after the race. So on to my pro clone heat race. Um, of course, I drew dead last the first night, so I got I to gotta start tailback, which is fine. It's a good place to sometimes stay out of trouble, but it was a good start. Um, see Jason DeMint right there, my teammate. He kind of got caught up in a couple of cars here. Everybody kind of got tangled up here, but it worked out for me right there. But um, the car was actually working really well. It was handling, it was turning to the center of the corner, and that's what I like in my car. I like it to turn when I want it to turn. So um, I just kept working my way up. I felt like I had a good card. I was able to catch a second place card here, start pressuring him. I knew it was just a matter of laps where I could get around him. Um, so I was trying to be patient and not do anything stupid. Like this, climbing a wheel. I just kept on and uh, finally got around him here. And we had a caution flag came out. So a caution flag came out again. I had to restart third. Had to give that spot back that I just got. So, but we still had a few more laps. So I was just trying to still be patient and not do anything stupid. I knew I had a faster cart. Then when the race was kind of on, but I still was able to, still was able to race my way back up to second. And this guy here, he loves this slide drive right here. He did that to me all weekend, I think. So some good racing for sure. We raced back to the checkered. I ended up getting second, which gave me the outside front row starting spot for the A feature. I'll take that. Second's always good. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I was getting ready to, I was on stage, he, they said he had, they had race receivers, but they had race transponders. Here's a receiver, I had to run and buy one. $125 with the earbuds before the start of the heat race. That was too stressful. All right, so now it's time for the boys A feature race. Um, this race for Jace DeMint went really well. He was out front from the start. Um, he was racing one of the one of the women that was actually an adult, so he actually had a pretty good race. But for Bodie, it was a learning race for Bodie. He spun out, I think, everywhere. 
he learned how to spin and get the car off the track, I think. But uh, I'm pretty sure it's just one of those races that we've all had it where you pretty much just spin, hit everything out there, and you learn what not to do, I think. The track, it, the track was getting slick. You could tell a big difference, so, um, but that was, it was good for him. But he still kept going, he kept the card out there, he never quit, so that's what it takes to keep learning. And Jace, he was, he was racing pretty hard. I think this one car wanted to really beat him. But Jace did a great job, and uh, I think his new car is working good too. Bodie, he, um, he did <laughs> kept the car running, I don't know. He, like I said, he kept pulling back on, he, he got back on the track. He didn't hit anything actually. He just spun out a lot. He didn't actually hit anything. Riley, he's up the track. <laughs> both of those boys. But Jace, you can. Here's how mature Jace is. He knew both these boys is the first eight feet forever. This other car really, really wanted to beat him. And this could have been really bad right here. Jace checked up. He knew not to run into the. He knew not to run into the boys. It cost him a little bit, but he still ended up winning the junior. So, like I said, the other car was it was an adult. So he did great. Jay's great job racing. The other boys did great, and Bodie is still, yeah. Like I said, he pretty much it was a learning night for Bodie, but it was still fun. That's about your race tonight. Yeah, he beats it. Put some water on the track right now, so I have no idea how that's going to change things. But we got my car up here in staging. I'm just going to roll out there and give it a good go. And out front, outside front row starting spot is good. Try to stay out of trouble. I think we got a good chance to stay out of trouble. That's the main thing. That's the key, I think, to car racing. And win, win your money back for your... Uh... Uh, I'm so in the hole right now. I had to buy a race responder. $125. Plus my entry fee and pit pass. Yeah, I'm in the hole a couple hundred dollars. So I got to come out about 250 just to break even tonight. Hate that. Bad. So on to the Pro Clone A feature. We got the outside front row starting spot, which is great. Um, this night it was Friday the 13th in a full moon. So if you race a lot, <laughs> you got to be nervous when it's when that combination comes up. So I knew something was going to be strange tonight, but I wasn't exactly sure what it was. Had kind of not very good start, and then uh, about a half lap in, pushed up off the bottom. A lot of cars got around me here, and um, it was actually a terrible start. I think there's somebody just got into me there. Three wide, not a good situation to be in. But I just kind of got it regrouped, kept the car going. The car was okay. It was still pushing a little bit. I've been fighting a little bit of a tight problem with this car. It wants to push up off the corners once the track kind of gets dry. It was definitely doing it in this race here. But it was still good enough. I was still able to kind of get the cart turned and get underneath these carts here. But I just kept kind of working at it. Trying to race my way back up. So I had 20 laps. And the strange thing about this race was that this race went green white checkered I've never been in a car I mean this is only my fifth cart race but I've never seen a cart race or been in one that was green white checkered for the A feature but once it kind of got cleared here I was actually in the third third place you can see the first and second they're gone I can't even see them up there they checked out so I just kind of settled in here made some laps it was actually pretty good just to just to actually get settled in the cart and make some you know 10 15 laps in a row 20 laps in a row actually so it was, it was a great night. I enjoyed that. Like I said, I haven't had, I've never had that happen in the kart races that I've done. So I've never seen a green white checkered. So it was good just to make some good quality laps. Um, nobody came up and challenged me. So I ended up third overall. And that put us in the money for the night. First night in Shawnee, Oklahoma, indoor racing. Um, the boys got trophies. All the boys got trophies. First night racing. Riley and Bodie, they did awesome. How was it? It was fun. Yeah. Especially getting second place. Especially getting the trophy. And I got third in money, which I needed. <laughs> so I'll take it. So Pro Clone, third, juniors. First, second, third. Um, pretty right, awesome. Three, good Marky Apparel team. TH. Uh, TRJ, Cardi. And TRJ Power Mine. 
so it was pretty good. Woo! Yes, I got like 20 times. <laughs>